Next to interpolate, uh, Congressman Luistro. Thank you, Mr. Chair. My questions are for Major General Nolasco A. Mempin. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, good afternoon, ma'am. Your Honor. You are the former Undersecretary for Administration of the Department of Education. That was during the stint of former Secretary, Vice President Sara Duterte. Do you confirm? Major General... Uh, Major General... Uh, former Major General uh, Nolasco... Nolasco, you're recognized Mempin. by the Chair. You're, uh, Mr. Chair. Mr. You're, Chair? Please answer the question of Congresswoman Luis Tere. Yes, Your Honor. So you confirm having been appointed as Undersecretary for Administration of DepEd. That was during the time of former Secretary Vice President Sara Duterte. Let us go back to your career in the AFP, General Mempin. Yes, uh, Mr. Chair. Back in 2017, nasan po ba kayo, General Mempin? Uh, in 2017, ma'am, initially I was assigned in uh, 10th Infantry Division as uh, the Chief of the Governance and Strategy Man Management Office, uh, effective January 2017. Then by August of the uh, same year, I was uh, designated as the Commander of uh, Task Force Dabao in Dabao City, uh, Mr. Chair. So the first appointment in 2017 was at the 10th Infran Infantry Division. Correct, uh, Your Honor. Pag sinabi po ba natin, General Mempin, 10th Infantry Division, what areas are covered? The 10th Infantry uh, Aguila Division covers the uh, whole of uh, Region 11 and part of uh, Region 12, part of uh, Region 10, and uh, part of uh, Region 13, Caraga, uh, Your Honor. And can you please cite some of the big provinces which are under these regions, General Mempin? Uh, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, Your Honor, uh, for Region 11, it covers uh, Dabao City, uh, Dabao uh, del Norte, Dabao del Sur, Dabao Occidental, uh, and uh, Dabao Oriental also includes uh, parts of uh, Bukidnon, but the uh, greater part of Bukidnon is under uh, Port Infantry Division and part of uh, uh, North Cotabato, ma'am. And for Region 12, General Mempin? Region 12 is a uh, part of uh, Cotabato, ma'am. And Region 13? Region 13 is part of uh, Agusan, uh, Sur and a part of uh, Surigao del Sur, ma'am. Can you please be specific about the inclusive period when you were the commander of the 10th Infantry Division, which covers regions 11, 12, and 13? I was uh, designated as uh, commander of the uh, 10th Infantry Division in uh, February of uh, 2022 until... Uh, my retirement in uh, January 28, uh, 2023, ma'am, uh, Your Honor. And Earlier, you mentioned about 2017, and you were likewise at the 10th Infantry Division. What specific assignment do you have during that time? Uh, from 2017, ma'am, uh, uh, I was assigned as the commander of Task Force uh, Dabao, uh, in charge of uh, covering, uh, actually it only covers uh, the downtown Dabao, uh, in charge of uh, the anti-terrorism uh, unit of the armed forces because of the uh, series of bombing, because uh, Task Force Dabao was established in 2003. Then after that, in 2019, I was, uh, after my stint at, at the Task Force Dabao, I was designated as the commander of the uh, uh, 10 Authored Infantry Brigade, covering uh, 
uh, parts of uh, Davao region, Davao del no specifically Davao del Norte, uh, parts of uh, Davao Oriental, parts of the, the northern or the mountainous area of Davao City, and then uh, some parts of uh, Pukidnon and some parts of uh, North Cotabato, ma'am. So would it be correct to say 2017, General Mempin, you were heading the task force Davao, primarily in charge with Davao City and the major parts of the Davao region. Do you confirm that? Uh, Ma'am, for clarification, uh, Mr. Chair, during my stint as task force Davao, it only covers uh, the downtown because uh, Davao City is divided into three areas. The, uh, it has uh, the downtown, midtown, and the uptown. The midtown is the, the downtown is the uh, central district. Then uh, midtown and uh, up, uh, uptown are those areas. Uh, so which part are you in charge with? For uh, 2017, ma'am, uh, 2017 until uh, 2019 in uh, uptown or downtown? downtown? Downtown during task force. You are in charge of downtown in 2017 until as the head of task, task force, force Davao. Correct, ma'am. Yeah. And then uh, sometime uh, in 2019, you became in charge of the 10th Infantry Brigade covering most parts of the Davao region. Not yet, ma'am. Uh, uh, 2019, I was designated as the brigade commander. Uh, brigade commander is under the 10th Infantry Division still, uh, covering uh, Dabo, some parts of Dabo region, specifically Dabo del Norte, Dabo Oriental, and uh, uh, not Dabo Oriental, Dabo del Norte. Yes, General, part of Dabo you City. have stated that yes, already. And then for 2022, this is the time that you were in charge of the 10th Infantry Division covering the regions 11, 12, and 13. That's correct, uh, Your Honor, Mr. Chair. And of course, I just wish to manifest that during this time, 2017 to 2022, the president was former President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Uh, yes, that's correct, uh, Your Honor, Mr. Chair. And for the Vow City, the mayor during that time was our Vice President, Sara Duterte. That's correct, Your Honor, Mr. Chair. And considering that you are taking care of the regions, the provinces, and the city, which are considered the hometown of the President, may I know, was there any marching order coming from the President, having assigned to those places? None, actually, because uh, as member of the armed forces, our main objective is to ensure, uh, to protect the people and uh, secure the uh, uh, territory for, uh, for our sovereignty. So uh, basically for the army or the 10th Infantry Agla Division, our uh, focus is on uh, insurgency uh, problem. While in the Bau City, during my stint as Task Force Dabao Commander is for the extreme uh, terrorism, like bombing of the uh, extreme With all due uh, respect, uh, General Mempin, I hope you will be responsive to the question because Davao, of course, is the place of the former president. So this representation is interested whether in your assignment in 2017, 2019, and 2022, all pertaining to the Vow region. Mayroon po bang specific na marching order ang presidente, considering that these places are his home places? Uh, I have not uh, received any specific instructions, but... Uh, as, thank you, General uh, Mempin. I think you have answered the question already. Thank, thank you, Your Honor. How Mr. about Chair. any marching order from the Vice President during your stint as Task Force Davao Head? Uh, the only instruction that I received during our uh, assumption or during my assumption as uh, Task Force Davao Commander is to have zero 
bombing incident because he said if there's a bombing incident in Davao City, then you build your uh, mission as uh, commander of Task Force Davao. So zero bombing, that's the specific instructions of former uh, Mayor uh, Sara Duterte. I know. wish to remind you of the article which was published in Sun Star. Ang sabi po ng ating Vice Presidente noon ay City Mayor. Kayo po ang head ng Task Force Dabao. Don't sleep. Don't breathe. Don't embarrass me. Do you confirm that? Uh, that's correct. I still have the newspaper on that, ma'am. Now, please enlighten us. Walk us through. During the time that you were assigned in Davao City and the rest of the other areas of the Davao region, how will you describe the peace and order situation in Davao? In uh, Davao City, ma'am, actually, when, my, when I first arrived, because I was uh, also assigned in uh, Davao region for a short stint in 2008, uh, the first thing that I noticed in uh, Davao... With all due respect, Mr. Chair, let us remind our resource speaker to be responsive to the question. We are asking General Mempin about the status of the Bao with respect to the peace and order situation during your time as the head of Task Force Davao. I think that is 2017 until 2019. Uh, for uh, the Davao, downtown Davao, ma'am, oh, it is uh, very peaceful, but uh, still the threat of uh, terrorism is there. So the existence of Task Force Davao is still... In the scale needed. of 1 to 10, 1 being the lowest and 10 being the highest, how peaceful is Davao? Uh, 10, ma'am, because up to now, no Ten. incident of terrorism. So that confirms the description of Colonel Garma in one of our hearings that Davao is one of the most livable city in the Philippines. You agree with that? Uh, yes, uh, Your Honor, Mr. Chair. And of course, you're one of the reasons why you are able to maintain or you were able to maintain such level of peace and order in the Vow City because you were the one in charge, the partner of the LGU. May we ask General Mempin, ano po ba ang mga programang ginawa ninyo sa Davao City to be able to achieve the level 10, the highest score in terms of peace and order that you just gave to the Vow City? To be candid about it, ma'am, actually, we, I just uh, continue uh, what my uh, predecessors have done because when I assume in 2017... General Mempin, kindly focus on the programs. Ano po yung programs na inyong in-implement? Uh, number one, ma'am, is uh, continued uh, collaboration with uh, various stakeholders, particularly with the uh, Muslim uh, communities in the Bau City to ensure that they will know slippage of uh, probable or would be uh, bombing incident in Davao City, ma'am. Any other programs, General Mempin? Of course, uh, continue uh, information uh, awareness to all the uh, residents or not only residents but uh, people visiting Davao because right now, we, we the, the term right now is culture of security where uh, security is everybody's concern, and not only of the uh, security units like the AAP and the uh, Philippine National Police, ma'am. I assume, General Mempin, that you were able to implement a lot of programs for you to be able to achieve that level 10 peace and order situation. So aside from the collaboration with Muslim communities and the information awareness dissemination, can you please cite more programs which you recall were very significant in your achievement of the level 10 peace and order in the Vow City? Uh, yes, ma'am. Number one is uh, uh, collaboration, information awareness, then uh, continued uh, uh, meetings with uh, or uh, exchange of uh, information with uh, intelligence uh, uh, units or uh, security units in the bow uh, continued uh, collaboration with the business business sector because uh, they are uh, the one uh, 
who needs to be convinced that Dabao is safe for the investment to stay in Dabao or in increase uh, of it. Then, uh, of course, uh, you continued uh, presence because uh, actually the world uh, do not sleep. We continue patrols in Dabao City, mobile, fixed checkpoint, in Dabao Airport, and even uh, business establishment uh, when there are major uh, engagement. Task Force Dabao is uh, always present. And of course, uh, uh, we continue to uh, uh, make our personnel uh, professional because uh, what, whatever programs uh, you have, if the people, uh, if, meaning our soldiers, is not uh, uh, professional in handling, like for example, we always conduct uh, checkpoint operations and uh, we always ask uh, uh, indulgence of the uh, inconvenience that we have uh, cost to the uh, uh, passenger and into the drivers entering uh, Dabao City. So that's all uh, part of our uh, programs to ensure that uh, everybody is uh, cooperating to ensure that no bombing incident will occur in Dabao City. I wish to make a recap of what you said, General Mempin. You mentioned collaboration with Muslim communities information, awareness, and dissemination to all residents, meetings with other intelligence units, collaboration with business and other sectors, presence of patrols, and presence with all other professionals to make sure that no bombing incident will happen in the Vow City. You confirm that? That's correct, uh, Your Honor. And these are the reasons why you were able to achieve the level 10 the highest score for the peace and order situation in the Vow City. You confirm? Uh, yes, uh, Your Honor, Mr. Chair. And I must say, Mr. Chair, General Mempin, na ito rin ang dahilan why I wish to conclude pinagtiwalaan ka ng noon ay City Mayor and now our Vice President, Sara Duterte. Yes, uh, Your Honor. Level 10 score is something that I am sure you will be able to gain the trust and confidence of whoever is the local chief executive of the area to which you are assigned. You agree with me? Yes, uh, Your Honor.